Hey guys, it's John here coming to you with yet another Disney store review. Here I got for you today, Prince Naveen from The Princess and the Frog. I almost forgot the name there. <laughs> um, let's jump right in and see if Prince Naveen is worth a purchase. So Prince Naveen, what can I say about Prince Naveen? Uh, unfortunately, you don't, you don't get to see his face throughout the whole movie since he is a frog most of the time. But from what I can see, I think it looks pretty pretty great. I like how they um, did the smile in there. And I also like how they even have little dimples for him. Which I'm not sure you can see. He has dimples. And that's a nice feature. Um, yeah, so I, I think face-wise it's pretty close. But I'm not really sure because I'm not the hugest fan of this movie. So I haven't seen it as much. Hair, I do like the hair. I like how they have the little um, wispy parts. The mold is pretty good for the hair too. A little detailing there, here and there. Costume wise, he is wearing his wedding dress. No, no, not wedding dress. Wedding outfit. Again, I'm not too confident. I'm not too sure with what it really looks like. So I have a picture here with me because in the movie, I think you get to see this outfit along with um, Tiana's lily pad dress. I don't know, maybe five seconds. So, um, from what I can see, it's pretty accurate. Um, I do like the little embroidery here with the leaves. Uh, his belt is not the most accurate. It's kind of just like a flower in the picture. It kind of it has a circle thing. His pants are brown here, but in the picture I'm looking at, it's navy. So, I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, everything else looks pretty good. Um, the, he has the puffy sleeves, he has um, small light green boots, and he has a cape, which is awesome. Um, the cape is removable by Velcro up the front here. So that's what he looks like without the cape. His shirt is velcroed all the way at the bottom. So let's put the cape back on. Uh, the cape is missing a little detailing where it's supposed to velcro here. But I'm still happy that he comes with a cape. As I said before, with my Shang review, I love a good cape. So articulation wise, he has all the normal prints articulation. So rotation, 360, no tilt. Um, arm, shoulder rotation, and it goes out. Elbow, no articulation in the wrist. Uh, he can do the splits. He can sit down. Uh, he has the rubber click knee, so it pretty much does nothing though. So compared to the princesses, um, the prince rubber click knees are pretty um, useless. No articulation in the feet, but a good thing about the princes is that they do stand on their own, as you can see. He has no need for a stand, unlike the princesses, um, because his legs are just so solid. <laughs> so other than that, I think the Prince Naveen is great. Let's have a look at size comparison with Tiana. Um, yeah, he's a good size for Tiana. Slightly taller. And next to Charlotte. There you go. Charlotte does seem a bit tall. But that's just because she has really big hair. And if you're interested in a review of Charlotte. I will be reviewing her sometime soon. Unfortunately. Um, the Princess and the Frog merchandise do not have a Disney doll villain um, since they the if you watch my other reviews I already said they're not the most popular so they don't have the villain but I'm really happy that they included Charlotte because she is my absolute favorite out of this movie she is so funny so stay tuned for her review though because it's gonna be a great one <laughs> so Prince Naveen um, I think he looks great he looks from what I can see he looks exactly like he does in the movie I like the smile. Um, I think they could have done something with the eyes that make him look a li little more like... Because in the movie he's kind of cocky. So yeah, I think 
in the future, if they do something different to add more character, they could have changed it up with um, kind of a cocky smile with you know, eyebrows raised, you know, that classic look that he does. So I'm very happy with this doll, so stay tuned for my next review, which will be Flynn Rider. So catch you guys soon.